Alright guys, what's up? I'm bringing you another tornado challenge today, and uh, let's go ahead and read today's. I chose a pretty good one, in my opinion. Okay, this was recommended by a subscriber. He requested to be called MC is here. He said, make a hotel 60 blocks high, 7 blocks wide. Each hotel room has one villager, one bed, and two glass to look out. The hotel is made of wood, wool, and glass. The hotel will be in all five tornadoes one by one. At least one villager has to survive the whole tornado attack. That's my challenge. So. That, that's a good one. I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with that. Wool, glass, and wood. Alright, the wood's not going to get damaged, so I'm going to have to place it somewhere. So, it's still possible for all those villagers to die. So, he said 60 blocks high, but 7 blocks wide. Uh, does that mean 7 by 7, I guess? So, let's start off with wool. <sighs> let's turn on the render distance, because, you know, it's always being slow. Still slow, whatever. That's 6. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm terrible at counting. Okay. That is 7. Okay. One sec. Okay. Now. It's time. For glass. So this is like, yeah, this is a motel. Small. 60 blocks high, though. So let's, we can calculate it by looking at the ground. Uh, 64 is the ground. So we're going to have to go up to 124. Yep. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the video because it's going to take like 30 minutes. So, and plus it's kind of laggy and it'll be slower building. So I'll be back, guys. Ah, finally, the finishing touches. The building is done. Decided to make it all pretty. And, oh my god, it took a while. But it's going to be awesome to see it get destroyed. So, it's got, you know, it's got the villagers, the beds, the two glass windows. It's got the wood, it's got the wool, it's got everything. Don't mind if your OCD is kind of bad with this, but you have to deal with it. <laughs> Look at this. Doesn't that make you mad? Doesn't bother me. Alright, so. 60, it's like say, almost 60 blocks tall. So it's probably good enough height. Because I don't want to make it too tall because the tornado won't even hit the top part. Because the tornado will actually like glitch and go on top of it. And won't do that much. So, the thing is. It has to be uh, F1, F2, F3, and F4, and F5. All in a row. Not at once, but all after the other so i'm gonna stay in creative though because the challenge is not for me to die it's for the villager to be left but i'm gonna tell you that if it gets hit by an f1 i'm pretty sure it's gonna be completely wrecked so um hopefully we don't die in the first tornado so i'm gonna be in creative so i don't get sucked away and i'm just gonna watch this so we're getting pretty good fps right now and i don't want to really ruin that no, that's not bad okay so let's get Sunrise. Oh, there goes my frames. That's fine. Okay. Sunrise. Uh, waves off. Okay, so it's going to be F1 first. So I'm going to fly around and like look at the tornado. Hopefully it doesn't spawn right here and destroy it instantly. Alright, let's test our luck. See? Oh, that's pretty close. I get this whole thing in one shot. Uh-oh. Is it really gonna... Oh, no. No. Come on, we have to have villagers left. Oh, it's, it's not gonna hit it direct on. Uh-oh, that's, that doesn't sound good. Oh, they're still in there. Oh, we... I think... Yes! Oh, it kind of reinforces you. Yeah, we got a lot left. We're good. No, some of them are dead. Yeah, especially the top, because it curves. Wow, look at this boss. Look at that boss. He just died. Oh, he's about to die, too. Oh, no, no, no. You're not dying. <laughs> he died right in, my, in front of me. Wow, look at that guy. Dang, all these guys are tough. Don't walk off the edge. It's a long way down, buddy. 
You idiot. Alright, they can't die. Some of them are actually enclosed still, like this dude. So we'll be fine. Most of them are gonna end up killing themselves. Just, just get back in there. We don't need you dying. Where'd you come from? Oh, I came from over there. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, the whole bottom level is like, pff, undisturbed. Yeah, nice. You can see the shape of the tornado. Just wedged it. Clipped it. Whatever you want to say. I can tell this tower might last a while. Actually, maybe not with F2 and F3 because those things are wide and they rip apart everything. Maybe with F4, F5 because they really destroy the whole building. So there's going to be blocks taken out so they'll survive. <sighs> i got to wait for this one to go away. So we have minor damage to the top. But most are still in I'd say we lost about half. Well, I mean, we lost about maybe one-fourth, but half of them are, like, just, like, sitting there, wondering what the hell's going on. Alright, that's probably good. Oops, wrong button. That's probably good. Okay. Time for an F2. <sighs> Get ready. I was gonna say it was a uh oh that was kind of close. Ooh, an F2 is really wide, so an F3 is even wider. And plus, look how much of a wedge it is this thing's gonna even if it misses over here it's gonna still break apart the building no villager that's one down well he didn't die did he oh no he's still alive i just gonna suck back in uh oh it's not looking good it's not looking very good uh oh Well, maybe, maybe it's alright. So most of them are gonna get sucked out, though. That guy, look at him, he's holding on. Never mind. Wow, I didn't even do anything, really. Might have done a little bit. Alright, that's F2. No retries, too. If it misses, it misses. It's not like a normal challenge, where we play until I actually get hit. Because we want these villagers to live. You guys just want to see me die because you're terrible people. Just a minute, Mike. Okay. Damage. Probably nothing. Just sucked away a few villagers. The path wasn't even that close, really. I thought it would, like, since it's so wide right there, I thought it would come out and cut off part of the building. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, I really like this building, too. Now it's kind of, kind of made of dirt. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of dirt. Has a huge lag spike. And another lag spike. Okay. That's probably far enough away. Oh, no, Bowser, don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna die. Oh, hopefully, hopefully I don't kill him. There you go, get in. Get in with your buddy. Oh, I thought I killed him. Whatever, he's just one out of many. Wow, these guys are all fine. They're just wondering, like, what's going on? My window's blocked. I'm not, uh, slumber party. Okay. Now. It is time for the F3. This, I believe, this one does the most damage, so. I don't know if we're gonna survive. Just hope. Here we go. Alright, yeah. That's pretty far out. Okay. Um. Where's it coming at? Wow, that's sucking him from pretty far away, not gonna lie. Uh, it's coming kind of straight. Maybe a little bit of an angle, so it's probably going to be the same path as this. So this is not going to do much damage. It's like I'm narrating like a football game or something. Oh, that guy's hold on. Call him Bill. <laughs> New objective, save Bill. Oh, uh, he's going to die. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's 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 wide air right there, so it's gonna be damaging. Oh I think we won. Did the tornado just stop? Oh wait, no. So you see how much damage it does, even though it's wide? Like look at that. Alright, so only a little bit of damage on the side here, I guess. Well those bottom three levels undisturbed. Kind of this level is undisturbed. But these bottom three have everyone in it. And, like, no damage to the glass, either. Wow. 
That was pretty easy. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this now. F4 is not gonna uh, do much. It's just gonna suck out the people that are kind of just sitting there. I think most of them are dead now, though. Wow, I didn't realize how destroyed this was. Look at the bed. Like, half of the dudes up here are dead. All of the dudes up here are dead. Poor guys. Okay. Now it's time for an F4. What is going on over there? Oh, not a lag tornado. This better not be a lag NATO. Huh. Happens on multiplayer a lot. Okay. So we got about... I'd say... Dang, look at this guy bossing it. Oh, this guy too. Pretty sure he's like the highest person in the tower that's living. Oh, no, never mind. I was lying. Okay. So we got about mm, maybe two-thirds, maybe a little less left. So now it's time for F4. Oh, well, it's right there. So it's probably not going to do that much. It's probably just going to rip a few blocks off and break glass. Oh yeah, the glass is kind of holding them in, so actually this F4 can be pretty dangerous. What's it doing down here? Uh-oh. These guys aren't safe. Oh man, I really underestimated this. Uh-oh, this is not good. Plus, it's really wide. Oh. What is he doing? He's defying physics. Oh, never mind. What? He just died? He didn't get sucked in? Okay, yeah, okay. So, I did underestimate the F4, but it's still... Still, told you it doesn't do as much damage. Although, yeah, it kind of did a lot of damage to the glass. Because glass is weak. But, there are still at least a third left. Okay, make that... Less than a third, because this guy's about to kill himself, and that guy. So, yeah, probably like uh, one fourth left. So, that five. This is. This might be a challenge. Man, this whole island thing is like just wrecked. It's all dirt, or not dirt, it's all stone. And dirt, yeah. Grass. And the skeletons of trees. And it's like my first serious challenge I've ever made without trying to make any jokes. Oh, I wonder how he survived. This, this trick for him surviving is he didn't. Oh crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. He might have won the game for us, but whatever. Alright, so... I would count, but I'm kind of lazy. Um, this guy... Okay, let's find a guy who has the best chance of surviving. Probably down here somewhere. How is that guy gone? There is literally like all his glasses here except for one. How is he dead? Maybe he got hit by blocks or something. Okay, so the best guy that's probably right here or in the tower is this guy right here probably. He's got the most guarding him. Oh no, this guy right here. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay. Everybody else up there is dead except for him. Poor guy. Okay. No friends left. Now, time. Set the sunrise. Alright, here comes F5. Ooh. It's like a hurricane. Actually, some people do call it a hurricane, so I might as well just call it a hurricane. Actually, nah, let's just call it an F5. This thing's not even close to a mile wide. And most errors, not most, some tornadoes very rarely can be a mile wide in real life, so. This is pretty small compared to it, but then again, the radar distance is like 20 feet. Okay. Soon enough, we're going to start hearing glass breaking. If Is it coming over here? Oh, oh, yep. This guy's going to be a goner. He's going to be a goner. Where's the guy that we're counting on? Him. He has to win for us. Here's the deal. If we find any villagers on this little island part, that still counts as living. And in the water, I guess. 
Because if they're like a thousand miles away, it kind of doesn't count. Because the uh, motel isn't safe. Oh, wow. I guess F5 really is weak. And yeah, it looks like we won. Oh, I didn't notice that this guy was intact. And this guy was kind of intact. <laughs> He's got like the best one. Alright, well that was pretty sick. And I hate it when he does that. Okay. And I have like, I'm actually holding a good frame right here. Nice. Okay. So, that is the outcome of... Of... I guess we could call it Villager Motel Challenge. That was, um... Villager Skyscraper. Yeah, that sounds better. So, the thing is, um, most people on the top died, and then most people on the bottom lived. We beat the challenge. Maybe, uh, we could do something similar to this. Maybe not so big. Maybe we could down, uh, get a map or something. And, uh, put villagers into buildings or something. Because this building's pretty small compared to other ones. And it's not even that tall. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, if you watched all of it. I'm pretty sure some of you do. Because you guys are loyal. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the link to the person's channel that, um... Was, he wanted me to call him... Uh, MC is here. So, his channel name is not that, though. Um, I'll give a link to his channel in the description. And go subscribe to him. Or just, like... I don't know. Anything. Don't hate on him, because that would be mean. Go subscribe to him. Go help him out, I guess. With his, uh, even if he doesn't have videos, still subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, don't forget to suggest more in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, it really helps. And I'll be seeing you later.